Oh, hey, what's going on, everyone? Got my cruiser. Look at those new springs. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. Um, I wanted to show you this. Charles Ellis. This 105. Now, this is my dad's 105, and I got it in the workshop today. Some new fan belts. Uh, give her a service for the diff oils and everything in the gearbox as well. And it's got a leak coming from the diesel pump, so I'm going to diagnose that and I will fix it. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the rig. My old man's had this for the last like 12 years, and yeah, I pretty much grew up in this thing, and he's just kept it so tidy ever since. Ever since he got it. It's got pretty low Ks for what it is too. 326 thou on it. But yeah. 50th anniversary. So it's a 105, not a 100 series. It's got the all the fancy uh, live front axle and everything. But being the 50th anniversary, it's the GXL trim. So show you on the inside so this is what she looks like on the inside it's a perler of a rig absolute perler yeah anyways get it up in there drain the oils and stuff is how she's looking underneath. Oh, still got the old petters in there. Rides really nice, this car. I really wanna, um, the suspension in the front end's a bit sagged. I really want to lift it up a little bit, but it is, <laughs> it's not my car. Alright, I'm just going to throw my phone down while I do the diff oils and stuff, so I'm not holding the camera the whole time, but yeah, I'll pick it up back again soon. Oh, damn son. Never seen a 60 like that before. That's lovely. Also, under this tarp, in my little goodie collection. Got my stash of two H's. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Funny as. Anyways. Lovely. Also, anyone who has anything to comment and say about my gloves, you can get stuffed because if you work with oil and shit like this all day, every day, you would know it will fry your hands and your skin. So, yes. Anyways, guys, time to fill it up with oil, but that's gonna require all my hands. So thanks heaps for watching. 
just a little video, a little showcase of the cleanest 105 you would have seen in a long time. Yes. Hope you guys have all enjoyed. Feast your eyes. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Another thing I forgot to add is I have new belts for the big girl as well because these ones are squealing and I've tightened them up and they're still squealing so it's time for new ones. Also, I've chucked a new air filter in. doesn't have a K&N in it anymore. I pulled the K&N out. I would rather keep paper filters up to it than keep reusing a K&N. Uh, just my opinion, but yeah. So anyways, now I'll catch you on the flip side.